Okay, yesterday was a big day. I finally moved out of my childhood home, which it's kind of a little bit sad, but it's also a big step, big moment. It's just sad because for the last 20 years, that house is the only thing I've ever known. All my buddies, all the sleepovers, all the memories that have been made in that house. I started my first YouTube channel in that home. In fact, I hit 100,000 subscribers in my bedroom in that home. So all those memories, you know, they're gonna stay in a special place in my heart. To all the people out there, to all my boys that are watching this video, to the ones that made that house special to me shout out to you guys even the bad memories at this point now looking back just mean so much to me one time my dad caught me and my ex-girlfriend just you know all around just an amazing home amazing memories I'm gonna miss it but we're on a bigger and better things once one door closes another one has to open which is why we just got a brand new place motherfucker. This whole place, the whole goal of this place is it's just Ryan and I and Tanner. We're all broke. We're trying to make it on this so-called app, on this app called YouTube. Yeah, so the place is pretty sweet. Yesterday, Nerf broke it in by sending me a video of him taking a shit. place is super sick there's gonna be a lot of content that's gonna come from this place although we can't do too much foul shit because I'm really not trying to get evicted I'm not trying to title my next video speed running getting evicted from my new apartment but anyway uh, Tanner just showed up he's here to check out the place I thought it would be a funny idea if we gave him the wrong apartment number like one right across the hall and I'll tell him to record on his iPhone walking up to the apartment knocking on the door and just walking into the place yo yeah you can just come in whenever I'm pretty sure uh, nerf granted you access on your app so uh, let me go look at what apartment number we are real quick. Uh, we're 11 slash 14, so we're 1114. Yeah, you'll see it. It's You just want to go to the 11th floor, and then it's apartment 14. All right, sweet man. I'll see you soon. All right, later. Later. <laughs> He's going to be so fucking confused. Just some Mexican family opens the door. Hola! <laughs> Mi amigo! Can't see it well, but... No one his ass is probably fucking lost right now in the complex. I'm not gonna lie, getting to our apartment without knowing the complex is actually like really difficult. Like there's like five different doors you gotta go through. Moving in yesterday, I wanted to film a bunch, but it was so brutal. If you guys remember a while ago, we had a PO box and I still see comments to this day asking if we still have it. We don't, but if you guys want to send us mail, here's our apartment address. Feel free to send it here. We'll open it for the vlog. Hopefully you guys send some good stuff. Yeah, just walk down that hallway and take a right. And then go to the 11th floor, 1114. Bang on the door for the vlog, because I'm gonna open it MTV style. All right, we'll see you soon, buddy. I hope someone just swings open the door. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's Tanner's face. <laughs> Come on, where are you at, Tanner? He's gonna go to our neighbors, oh my God. We've lived here for one day, and our neighbors are already gonna hate us now. There it is, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. How'd you know? I could hear your little fucking key. Damn, <laughs> dude. No. Uh, this place dude. is fire. You want to set us fire, boys? It's, it's not bad. It's not bad, you know? You ready to grind time? This is where you'll be yeah. sleeping, you know, on the long film nights. Oh, the couch is fucked right now, too. We're missing a few bolts, so. Yeah, we just can't sit on this side. It's mainly for, like, decorational purposes only right now, but. Dude, you guys are high up here. 11 stories, but it doesn't look like it. I mean, if you go in my room, this is the one bad thing about my room. Like my room's nice, it's big. Ryan gave me the luxury of getting the bigger room because of my computer setup, so it has a bigger closet. So if you look right here, this motherfucker, dude, See, he's in there right now. He's always home just looking at me. Our, our windows just look straight into each other's rooms. So I think the game plan for today's vlog is we're gonna take it kind of easy. We're just gonna explore the new city that is now our home for the next 18 months of our lives. I looked up on Google things to do in Denver and apparently there's a spot called Denver's most Instagrammable spot. And it's a, it's a 10 minute walk. So we're gonna walk and see what it is. Cause on Google, it's not showing any photos of what it is. So I'm kind of intrigued. Let's see if we can get some good flicks there or something. Update the Tinder profile, huh? Not you though, you got a girlfriend. 
Yeah. I gotta remind the vlog that Tanner started dating a girl after five days. It's not a bad thing. He tried telling me to take that part out when I posted that vlog. Dude, don't put that part in. No, there. no, 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 no. It's not a bad thing. Like I think you just need to under and you guys are going strong, right? We've been going strong, you know. She's been gone, getting fucked by a bunch of dudes. What? <laughs> nah, nah. He's in love, and that's a good thing, you know. I'm in love with my ex. I was like that once. When did you and your ex start dating after three days, or what? Was that? Yeah, it was more like a week and a half. Is that why you had to wait a little bit longer this time to really make sure she was the one? He's like, oh, I can't do the three. Three days again, gotta wait two more days, God forbid. All right, we gotta find out where this Instagrammable spot is. You've been saying you wanted some Instagram photos anyway, right? I did want some Instagram photos. So, all right, this way. Probably shouldn't do that, it looks like I'm hailing Hitler. We've been walking for a total of about 13 minutes now. We're one minute away from Denver's most Instagrammable spot. It has to be worth it, because if not, it's gonna be a long walk home. We'll see, you know, try and get some flicks or something. Have you heard of Denver's most Instagrammable spot? Is it worth it? I haven't heard of it. Okay. Ma'am, have you heard of Denver's most Instagrammable spot? Is it really Instagrammable or? Oh, okay. All right, yeah, well, you, t you take it easy. How, how does no one know about this? It's, it was the first thing that popped up when you typed in on Google, things to do in Denver. This place sucks. I'm buying a rack. You're an alcoholic, man. I like to have a good time. Nerf doesn't start drinking because he just doesn't stop. I saw him at 8 a.m. while I was hanging out with my ex, and he walked out into the living room. He's like, hey, man, you want to drink this? And it's a fucking White Claw. Eight in the morning. White Claw Surge, so it's even worse than a White Claw. It's like a White Claw on steroids. Yeah, White Claw's you, and a White Claw Surge is the guy she tells you not to worry about. White Claw Surge is what Tanner's girlfriend's hanging out with. No, I'm kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. This is it. All right, now look up the closest liquor store. <laughs> no, look at that. You're telling me you don't want Instagram photos in front of this? Oh my God. I think this is it. Let's go see. On the real note, who would take an Instagram photo here? Say Hitler. Hitler? I'm a fool. Well, the hoes are gonna love this. Who the fuck would take a photo here? Like, honestly. Like, oh, I see I see stairs in downtown. Let me just pull out my camera real quick. Ryan, is it getting more Instagrammable up there? Or not really. This is a good flick spot right here. You can't you can't tell me otherwise. It's called the Millennium Bridge, is what we're on right now. You know what Millennium stands for? I know you don't know either. It stands for Instagrammable. <laughs> oh, that might be it. That would make more sense. Yeah, that's gotta be it, dude. Look, there's people down there taking photos right as we speak. How cute. I drove 14 hours for this. <laughs> There's been a few YouTubers in the past that have done a similar bit to this. Everyone knows the show in Practical Jokers. It's an absolute classic. If you guys haven't watched it, go watch it. That being said though, I've seen a few YouTubers try and recreate it just with their buddies. I know Steezy Kane did a vlog bit similar to this. But today, Ryan and I are gonna be going against each other. And I have five dares written for him. He has five dares written for me. I'm gonna be putting a shot collar on him. If he fails to do the dare, he's gonna get electrocuted on the spot and we're gonna crank it up to volume 17, which is really fucked up. Oh, damn. So Ryan is now mic'd up and he's got the shot collar on him. What he's about to find out once I give him a call to give him his first dare is that he is not allowed to take that shot collar off because if he tries to take it off, I'm going to electrocute the living fuck out of him. We're gonna start easy on the first one, but after you do a few, they're just gonna increasingly get a bit tougher for you, Ryan. All right, the first one is you need to find a girl. It could be with a boyfriend or not. You're gonna walk up to her Say, ah, eh, fucked worse, you'll do. Thanks. Ain't no way. Oh no, he's gonna do it to this girl right here. He's oh, gonna do it, he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, eh, fucked worse. Can I get your number? What? what? No. No? For your second dare, now there's a table of girls to your left. You're gonna walk over to them and be like, yeah, I fucked worse. Can I get all of your guys' numbers? Dude, come on, they're trying to have a nice dinner. That's the second dare. Increasingly getting harder. <sighs> there's a table of girls right here, and he's about to say it. This is so out of pocket. Oh my God, dude, this is so fucking bad. Ladies, I was wondering if I could get your number. And I was looking at you, uh, like, I, I fucked worse, so I was like... Uh, you fucked worse. That's your pickup line? <laughs> Is he secure? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, fuck, dude, they're getting mad. Yeah. I have a boyfriend here, thanks, so. Oh. That's such a horrible pickup line. I fucked worse, so you're saying I'm bad? No, I'm just saying I, fuck I, I fucked worse. So you're setting, like, a little standard to yourself, or...? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. No, you can't have my number. That's so rude. What do you mean you fucked worse? 
I have my fault. Do you see that guy at the booth over there? Uh, oh, at the booth? Yeah, 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 yeah. So not right now. Give me one sec to get a good shot of him. But you're gonna go over there and you're gonna stand in front of him for 10 seconds, just rubbing your nipples. You could tap out right now and just get shocked and call it a day, buddy. Buddy, was George Washington black? No. Exactly. I'm not tapping. You're gonna go into that restaurant, you're gonna find a girl that's sitting with her mans and accuse her of cheating. You're gonna be like, really? So the past three months have meant nothing to you? Dude, that's fucked. I don't know if I can do this one. You're gonna take the taser to the nipple? Fuck, I guess. Or I can give you one final other dare, but if you refuse to do this one as well, you're just out and you're getting tased in your nipple. Fuck. You're gonna walk up to a person of color and you gotta get down on a knee and start singing This Is America. Whoa, okay, okay. That was... <laughs> Alright, well, you guys saw the rules. Ryan ended up losing. As Impractical Jokers would say, Ryan is tonight's big loser. Oh. I used to do this all the time as a kid with my neighbor. I don't think this is gonna help, man. No amount of alcohol is gonna help fix this one. Yeah, because now you're just gonna be like blacked out drunk after you got your nipple tased. <laughs> Like, it's really not gonna save your ass at all. You'll do it quick. This plants your nipple, like it'll just be like <laughs> To be fair, next week, on the next vlog that we post, I'm gonna let Ryan come up with five dares I have to do. Yeah. And, and if I don't do them, which I'm gonna do them, it doesn't matter, even if I walk away in handcuffs. If I don't do them, then I will let you taste my nipple. <laughs> go piss, go piss. Oh my God. This is America. I gotta get close, bro. Ready? It's just on fire. It's like nipple chlamydia. Oh my god. Dude, you see, I told you it wasn't gonna be that bad. No, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's pulsing through my nipple. Alright guys, yeah, that's the end of the video. If you want to support us, the merch link is down in the description below. We have the I'm Afraid of Woman, a brand new design that is up on the shop right now. Go grab it, or we're gonna keep tasing Ryan's nipples. So if you guys want to save them, um, go buy the merch so you can pretend. <laughs> right. That's a wrap.